Welcome to this episode of DIY 3D Tech.com. In this episode, we're going to try an experiment. We're going to try using polycarbonate as a build surface. Now, one of the things that I did is, is um, for grins and giggles, uh, I, I buy this polycarbonate uh, for CNC, CNC machining and laser cutting and that, and I get it in, um, <clears throat> so I got a little bit of a cold here. So this is a 20.3 by 25.4 centimeter or 8 by 10 piece of 0 0.093 inch um, material. Now, uh, again, one of the things I wanted to do, because I have switched, I've started using the PEI bed. However, one of the things that I do is I like to print TPU and some more, what I would consider uh, more damaging plastics like, like uh, uh, PEG and everything. And, and one of the things you might have noticed um, in the other videos, the Altrex sheet got torn up by the PEG. And, uh, you know, again, I'm a little bit concerned you, you, using this on the PEI, P. E I <clears throat> sheet. Maybe my concerns are unfounded, but I figured for grins and giggles, what if I take a piece of polycarbonate and sand one side of it and, and use it? Because you really don't have to use any temperature, and I'm not sure temperature would be an issue with polycarbonate. This stuff is pretty tough. So, uh, just figured, you know, what the heck. And, and so I was going to cut it on the CNC machine, then I put it on the bed, and I just noticed that, hey, <clears throat> it pretty much fits just as it is. So, Anyways, I'm going to go ahead, sand this, and we're going to try some experiments. Hey, what can it hurt? So, um, you know, let's go sand this and put it on the bed and try printing some stuff. So I've got the random orbital sander. I'm going to use that um, because I really want a messed up pattern on there as much as possible. I'm going to use uh, 220 grit. That's the finest grit I have. Uh... You know, I would even suggest, you know, maybe starting at 220 and working your way down. This is the finest I, I have right now, so uh, that's what I'm going to go with and just uh, give this a, a very good sanding. So I would suggest wearing a dust mask. Uh, I don't know what the dust from this stuff will be like, but so let's go ahead and give it a shot. Okay, so we're back. So uh, it's got a slight dusting on it. I have to clean that off. Um, however, you notice it's opaque, and so that, that's what we want, is we want it to be opaque. And um, eh, I get a little light in this corner here, but you don't want to, to show like that. Since it's a corner, I'm not going to worry about it, and this will actually overhang the bed. I did get the center really, really good. So um, uh, again, you want to give it a lot of surface, because what's going to happen is that... Uh, you know, sanding is going to cut grooves, a lot of micro grooves into the surface to allow it to adhere to, but yet finely enough. So it's really increasing the surface area of, of the uh, material. So anyways, let's go. I'm going to clean this up a little bit, and then because it is a little bit dusty, and uh, we're going to go put it on the bed and then take a look at it. Okay, so I've uh, washed this off. <clears throat> uh, end up running it under water. The, uh, this is really crazy. This this surface area where I've sanded it, it just grabs my fingers. I'm I'm really surprised. I'm gonna clean, it, let it air dry a little bit from the water, uh, but uh, clean it off with alcohol. Wow, that that's it's interesting. So, however, before we go, uh, what I wanted to do was uh, before we mount it up. So one of the things keep in mind the your your bed is set with especially if you're using some other surface. So the PEI is about 0 0.88 millimeters thick, whereas this is going to be roughly 2.3 millimeters. So we're going to have to adjust the bed down uh, quite a bit to accommodate for the extra distance. So don't forget to do that so you don't run your... Um, your uh, 
hot end into the into the head. So again, we're just going to use the bulldog clips to clip this on. And uh, as with the other piece, I'm going to have to adjust it back. Oops, lost one. Yeah, I'll get it in a minute. Uh, well, that's right up against there. Oh, I'm just not pushing it far enough back. There it is. Ah, come on. Watching frustration in action. So I'm just going to mount it on with the bulldog clips like that and go for it. So I'm going to adjust the bed down. I'm going to do the paper test and get it all lined up. And then we'll come back and we'll see about printing something. Okay, welcome back. So we finished printing these two. So let, let's see how this worked. Now, um, unfortunately, I was in a hurry doing this and I forgot and left brims on from the last project. So I'm not sure uh, about this. However, i got to tell you, this is really adhered to this polycarbonate bed. I can't... Uh, Try this up. So the real, <clears throat> the real secret will be, can we get this up off the bed? Again, I don't want to gouge the bed, bed up too much. Um, try to get past this brim. Use the scraper. I guess maybe I shouldn't be worried. So hey, what am I thinking about? Let's. Let's just unclip the bed. That's part of the reason I wanted to do this. Let's pop the bed off. And uh, see if I can flex it. I'm trying to keep this in the camera. Still flex it. That's not working. It's held on here, folks. So uh, I'm happy so far. The big question is, can I get it off? So I was going pretty good at this with uh, I don't know. Because this that this is the problem. This is why I didn't want to do it on the uh, <clears throat> PEI because this stuff sticks like it's nobody's business. Now kids don't do what I'm doing at home. Huh. It might speed up part of this me trying to get this up off the bed. Damn cold, I can't seem to get rid of it. It's kind of interesting. Take a look at it from the back side. You can see the, how the layers went down. You can see the parts I'm getting peeled up. Um, you can also see it's adhesion. That's actually pretty interesting. Well, we got uh, we got this one off. It wasn't pretty, but uh, definitely came off. I'm gonna have to clean off the brim on this one. Uh, but it, uh, like I say, I think the polycarbonate actually worked. And, uh, that, uh, had some holding power. I still gotta get this other one off, but, uh, I won't bore you with that. So, anyways, I'm gonna give this, uh, I'm gonna give this polycarbonate idea a thumbs up. I'm gonna try it with some other materials, and I'll follow up with some other videos, just to kind of let you know how this is going. Uh, but again, so far, um, this... <clears throat> this this seems to have worked for what I wanted it to do because I wanted a specific surface for um, TPU that TPU would adhere to and not destroy and so uh, so far I think I got it with this so uh, I'm going to try some more prints with it I got to print out a bunch more of these I just did two at a time because I needed to do it fast for this video to, to get it come out because I've got some other obligations I got to run to however I was really curious to see if it worked and it obviously did um, I wonder if over time, though, if this this will lighten up. But that grid of the sandpaper, I think, did a really good job of of scuffing this up and giving it a lot of surface area because it's really strange. And I run my fingers across here; you can feel the surface area really increases a lot of friction. 
So this is why I'm not surprised by how well this is held to the TPU. So uh, again, I'd give it a thumbs up if you found this video interesting. Hey, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, a lot more. Hey, if you got some ideas for some others, uh, let me know down below because again, Part of my reason for doing this is I want to build, I, I'm in the process, I should say. I've actually got most of the parts and i got the other stuff on order to build a G-Max-like printer. And I'm not going to use a heated bed. And I want to do, uh, so I'm experimenting with bed concepts. And this is where I'm really thinking about using this polycarbonate and scuffing it up like this and using this as my bed surface. So I am going to try this with PLA and see how it works, but I've got a bunch more i got to print out with TPU, so I'm going to get that out of the way first, and that's going to probably take me a day or two of printing. Um, you know, So look for it in the future. I will try it with ABS and uh, PLA. So cheers. See you in the next video. Click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.